Drinking Buddies. Today we're going to answer the age-old question. Can you take a $20 bottle of Benchmark Bullproof, drop a barrel aging spiral in there, and make something comparable to Stag Jr.? Maybe even something comparable to George T. Stag? Let's find out. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, Drinking Buddies, I'm really excited for this one. Uh, if you longtime friend, fans of the channel, you will know that my all-time favorite pour is George T. Stagg, and right up there is Stagg Jr., right there with it. Um, I, every, every time I'm uh, you know, on vacation and I, I seek out a whiskey bar, I always check to see if they have George T. Stagg, and I know I'm going to pay a lot for a pour, but it's always worth it. Um, and Stagg Jr. is one of my favorite bottles. I have here batch 16 and batch 17. Um, and we will see which one is best. Let's go over the proofs real quick. So the, um, the George T. Stag is 124.9 proof. The Benchmark Full Proof is 125 proof. Batch 16 is 130.9 proof. And batch 17 is 128.7 proof. And let's dive right in, see if I made something cool. Barrel Aging Spiral, I'll put a link in the description. and. Benchmark full proof you'll have to find on your own. But as of right now, it is currently a shelf readily available item. Glass number one. Ooh, my lord, that is a good nose. Maple syrup, cherries, oak. Man, that's a, that, is, that is a good nose. Wow. So the flavor on that is caramel, vanilla, not a lot of cherry carrying forward. The cherry was just on the nose, not a lot of cherry on the on the palate. Um, barrel char. There's a little bit of maybe an apple thing going on. Yeah, like an apple cider thing going on on that one. No, well, whatever it was, that was good. Let's go into number two. Okay. This is a more complex nose. There's more going on here. This one's um, honey, vanilla, cinnamon. There's just a lot going on here. Something a little bit floral, almost like that Four Roses floral note on the nose. There's more heat on that than there was on the first one. Palette is cherries, vanilla, butterscotch, more baking spice flavors going on in there. Not sure which one of those I like more right now. Okay, this one smells like cereal. Like a fresh bowl of shredded wheat. No. Cereal of some kind. That one's cherries, and compared to the last two, that one's kind of stumbling for me. I think that might be the benchmark. Um, not as much going on as there was on the last two. It smells kind of young, and it tastes kind of one note of cherry and a little bit of bourbon vanilla. A um, little bit of a caramel thing on that one. Not as good as the other two, I don't believe. Watch, that's the George T. Stag. 
All right, number four. Okay, so this one's got a similar nose to the second one. Just really complex. A lot going on. Floral, cinnamon, honey. Very sweet. Oh, wow. This is not a note that I've ever picked up before, but like clay. Like I'm smelling molding, um, like molding clay. Man, is that a note that I've smelled a thousand times and I've never been able to put it into words? It's possible. Well, that's phenomenal. Um, wow. Um, that one on first, just first tasting, that one's standing out as being the best. That could change when I go back through, but as of right now, that's... That is really delivering on flavor and finish. This finish is long and echoing and awesome. The flavors are going to be, you know, I don't want to bog down you with the same flavors, but these should all taste fairly similar. Uh, they're the same mash bill, the same, they're the same juice, just in different aging processes. So they're going to have similar flavor profiles. It's going to be that bourbon vanilla. It's going to be the cherry. It's going to be oak. It's going to be, um, man, that's really good. I really hate to say it, but I, I really feel like this one is dramatically standing out as being better than the rest. None of them are tasting bad, except for that one that I said tasted kind of young, was just okay. But that one's the best one. I'm hoping that it's not the, full, the benchmark foolproof or I'm gonna look like an idiot. While drinking buddies, I'm gonna go through these again, but I'll fast forward through this part so you don't have to watch the same tasting notes twice. We'll see you on the other side. Well, we did not find, I don't believe, a George T. Stag killer for $20. Um, Cause I believe this is the, the benchmark foolproof. I'm gonna say 16, no, I'm gonna go 16, 17 and George T. Stag. Let's find out if I'm right. So um, my least favorite, it did end up being my least favorite. It's just so much butterscotch. There's just like not much else going on for me. Um, it's a little, it's, it's a little bit, Disappointing in comparison to these bottles. And I called it. That glass is the benchmark foolproof. Next up, I said this was the 17. This was the 16. This was the 17. And this was the George T. Stag. It's the king of urbans for a reason, drinking buddies. Nobody beats it. The best bourbon in the world. Well, drinking buddies, I really appreciate you watching. Please do me a favor, hit that like button if you stayed this long. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And go ahead and leave a comment down below uh, if you what you would pick out of this flight. And tell me if you've tried the Benchmark Foolproof. What do you think of it? We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.